In this tutorial, I'll show you how to ban in captions or subtitles into video in Adobe Premiere Pro. This is an updated video to a video I did a while back, so stay tuned and follow along. It's super simple. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, I'm inside Adobe Premiere Pro and I'm just going to begin by importing media. I'll click on this video and I'm going to use the automatic transcription feature in Adobe Premiere Pro. So I send up this text options here, transcript. And by default, when I create a new sequence, uh, this particular file will have been transcribed. If you don't see this, you can come to window and then click on text. You'll see it right there. So let me just right click new sequence from clip. And it's going to uh, do all that. And the transcript is already here. And from here, what I can do is I can go to the captions tab here and then click on create captions from transcript and then I'll get this create captions dialog box. So from here we've got a caption preset uh, that uh, is going to be used. So there are a bunch of them here, Australian OP-47, CEA-608, CEA-708, EBU subtitle, subtitle default, teletext. I'll go with subtitle default and uh, oh, there are three dots here that you can use to uh, kind of save current settings as a preset delete uh, selected preset, import preset. Really handy. But of importance is this particular section, the captions preferences form, uh, preferences, where you can change the format, uh, maximum or minimum uh, length, uh, and also the number of lines. If I click on that, uh, you get the format again, or you can change the format again. And then we've got a bunch of things here, a style, if you've already created one for your subtitles, uh, which is uh, really handy. And then we've got the maximum length in characters. I go with between 32 and 42, but my sweet spot is 37. So I'll just drag this slider to 37. There we go. Then minimum duration in seconds, I'll leave it as three seconds. A gap between captions in terms of frames, I'll leave it as zero. And then as for the lines, uh, I'll go with the double and then click on create captions. It's creating captions here and it's already done. So can kind of zoom in slightly right inside here. And if I actually move this to the side and play this particular video. In this tutorial, you'll appreciate that the subtitles appear right inside here. One thing that uh, you may notice is that the subtitles may be a little bit small. So you'll need to edit this. So I can click on one subtitle here and then press on Control A or Command A on a Mac. Now, if I do that, from the essential graphics panel here, I can adjust a couple of things. Uh, that is, uh, for example, you can change the font. Let's say we go with something like Arial. Let's look for Arial. I should be somewhere here. Arial. Let's go with Arial Bold. That looks good. And then I can also adjust the size by adjusting this slider. Let's see, we go with something like 60. Actually, let's just input 60 here. And once we do that, uh, you can make any other change that you want. For example, you can decide to have a background for the subtitles. Uh, there are those options here. Click on uh, add a background. And then you can adjust the color because this one looks more of like a gray. You can make it black so that the, the white text is on a black background. And then we can adjust kind of the size of this so that uh, when we see our subtitles, they're going to be uh, right inside there. So let's see what we have here. So we can bring it down slightly right about there. That looks good. The subtitles are inside and that looks good. Uh, if I actually look at the next one, yeah, they're looking good. They're kind of translucent. Uh, yeah looks good. So that's the subtitle part and I'm done with that. How do I ban the subtitles to the video? Super simple. I can just click on this export tab uh, so that I can make those uh, different changes. So click on export. And once I do that, I'll get into these export uh, selection options. And from here, you can set uh, your file name, what you want it to be called at the location where you want to save your particular file. And once you have that, uh, you can make different changes to the preset uh, depending on what you have. So for example, 
I can change the the video to kind of match source. So I can just edit that and then you'll see the preset uh, goes back to custom. You can also see the estimated file size. Let's close this video option because of importance now is the captions. And from here, export options, ban captions into video. And we also have the option to create a sidecar file. But of importance in this video is to ban captions into video. If you're satisfied with that and all your selections here, just click on export. Once you do that, it's going to start rendering that particular video with your captions banned in to the video. It is super simple, especially if you have an SRT file already loaded here. Uh, you don't have to keep going through the whole process that I've walked you through. Uh, but if you had to uh, kind of transcribe and subtitle from scratch, then the automatic transcription engine in Adobe Premiere Pro is, is really accurate and good. So once it's done, you can just go to that particular folder. Uh, let's actually view this particular video. If I just double click on it and it's going to play in VLC media player. Mm, you can see the subtitles here. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add text behind a person or moving object. In so looks good. Uh, you can just make a few changes if you want. But for demonstration purposes, this video has served its purpose and that is how you can ban subtitles or captions into video in Adobe Premiere Pro. I hope this video is of value to you. Thank you so much for watching.